Hello, I am Fjallsback and welcome to Baldur's Gate. Right, this is the second time I tried to record this particular episode when I did start. Previously I did record for a while and then the power just went out in the in entire city. The of the turrets, a great host will come from the east like a plague of locusts, so saith the wise Alando. Right, he keeps chanting that. And uh, then I sort of lost the recording. Well, it got corrupt because it didn't shut down the proper way. And uh, I don't know exactly where we ended up. So I have taken one of the saves. That was not the most recent one. If none are better, and go speak stranger. with this guy. Ah. Cover us. And that is... Uh, if you spell the name backwards, you can maybe find out who he is. Anyway, um, I see you want to go with the same results as I did earlier, or at least in this conversation, perhaps. Perhaps another time, there's some research I'm currently working on. No, please do. My name is Kovaras. I used to work for your father, running messages to his Harper friends in Waterdeep before he passed on. He entrusted me this ring. Now this ring to me and ask that I give it to you, should the evil ever befall him, will you take it? And what evil befell him? You were there, you saw it all, a woman, an armored figure, two ogres wielding clubs, and two archers. But Gorion's pretty... Gorion's petty magic was of little use against them, was it not? And you, you fled with your tail between your legs, hiding amidst the trees until dawn broke, and now it comes full circle, doesn't it? The Iron Throne is so close that you can almost touch them and wreak, or wreak, yeah, wreak, is that how you pronounce it? Wreak your revenge for that night. Alright, uh, uh, hand over that particular ring. I've done it before as well. Where is your pride? Listen to me well. The leaders of Iron Throne are here and they keep even as you speak. They are the weakest and most unprotected. If you ever hope to kill them, now is the time. Go to Iron Throne awaits you. Yeah, sort of. I don't know what's coming here, so he's sort of. Um, uh, well, in various we say he doesn't have a clean flower in his bag. Right. Um, inventory. So he gave us a particular ring here, and it is plus one ring that we are not really gonna have much use for. Uh, can I help you? Right, then we basically looked at all these things. The books were just plain old books. There's a watcher here. Alright. This particular shelf here. Another book. I think we might have been in all places, but most of the time we just find scrolls or books and they are not really useful to us at all. So head on upstairs. And is this the I'll do my best. Place where we got into trouble. I think it is. I didn't mean to click on that one. It probably is. Right, there's a doorway up here. Maybe. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Do I want to do something different this time around? Not that you would know because I haven't actually published what I did last time around is actually go up one floor and then come back to this floor and do whatever needs to be done here. I think I will want to do that actually, just to be a bit too uh, clever for my own I good. Do my best. Right, this is Tal. Say hello to me, you. I'm late for my classes. Leave me be, stranger. I've got work to do, and all the other. Monks gave me such a warm welcome. Why not you? Uh, do you not recognize me? It's me, Conrad. Uh, certainly, Conrad. I did not recognize your face. My apologies. I trust your journeys have been un have been comfortable. The cloakwood can be cold for this time of year. If you'll excuse me, I should go. 
How did you know I had gone to the Clockwood? Uh, I have relatives in the regions. Yes, they must have seen you and sent a note on your progress. <laughs> right. How would they know who I was? I think you're lying. Yeah, I haven't actually gone through this one, so I think you're lying. You would have to well leave me be. I tire of this game. Take your questions and go away, monkey. Oh, I have many more questions to ask. For starters, who are you really? Let's go with that. I am your death, foolish meat. Okay, a greater doppelganger. You have need of me. Well, I guess we will attack him. Alright. Gold necklace. That I guess we just put here. Yeah, these scrolls you just can't carry around. I don't think we can learn any of these anyway. Right, and a level. We also got that one when I recorded last and failed. So, uh, that was the wrong place. I should click here. So let's just level you up again. No proficiencies, but 8 hit points and points. Pickpockets, let's move that to say 35, not that I use it very much. Move silently to say 75 and double locks to 80. And that should be fine. That should be fine. Uh, yes? Right, so we got rid of a double ganger and then let's walk around here and see what we can find. Locked. I don't think I want to break into our old home. Even though there might be interesting stuff in that particular drawer. Just leave it be, I guess. Locked as well. And this one will probably be locked also, or empty. And empty was the solution on this time around. Book, I don't even want to bother about what, what the books are. Not anymore, they're just dull books. Web, detect invisibility. I don't know if we have detect invisibility on both ourselves and uh, Nira. We do. All right. Web, we do have, so just leave that one be. Uh, can I help you? Book and another book. And you are locked. Unlocked, unlocked. No book case that is non locked. But you know, we are not here for books, even though this is technically a library. Grease and blindness. I believe we have both. Not too sure about grease, but that's probably because we haven't actually used it. Yeah. Let's just put it back. Actually. Uh huh. My turn to save the day. Um. You just offload these scrolls since. You know, we're probably not oh, going to use them anyway, aren't we? Oh, not this one. This one we'll keep. This was technically ours already. All right. You have need. I'll do my best. All right. Hey, a pillow thingy. Some coinage. Hidden under the pillow. I think down the middle here. Nope. Alright, head on up. Head on up. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Yeah, Piato. Conrad, good to see you. I trust you are well. As well as be expected, Piato, how have you been? 
I feel as though life is dragging me along by the nose. No, by the nose. Pietro, not good at all. Get out of my way. No, no. As well as can be expected. How are you? Oh, I pine for the days when you and Gorion still called Candle Keep home. You brought a bit of energy to these walls. I shall have to speak with you later at length. But for now, I must. You must rest. Gorion's old room is on the third floor, in the south corridor, just as it was. I think there's a few things for you as well there. See you later. All right, Gorion had a room apparently. If none are better. So where would that be on the third floor? I've lost count of what floor we are on actually. So. These okay. walls contain the world's knowledge. Right, so you're standing inside the closet. That is locked, so you're basically locked in. Someone has been mean to you and locked you in a closet. Well, now you're walking out again, apparently. Alright, and if they're not locked, they're usually empty. Letter. And some money, alright. Ah, hello Conrad. If you're reading this, it means I have met an un met an untimely death. I would tell you not to grieve for me, but I feel much better thinking that you would. There are things I must tell you in this letter that I might not have told you before. However, if my death came too soon, then I would have never given you the chance. First off, I am not your biological father, for that distinction lies with an entity known as Baal. The Baal that I speak of is the the one you know of as a div divinity. In the crisis known as the time of troubles, when the gods walked Faerun, Baal was also forced into a mortal shell. He was somehow forewarned of the death that awaited him during his time. For reasons unknown to me, he sought out women of every race and forced himself upon them. Your mother was one of those women, and as you know, she died in childbirth. It has been... I had been her friend, an occasion lover. I felt ob obligated to raise you as my own. I have always th thought of you as my child, and I hope you still think of me as your father, your special child. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. If you make use of our extensive library, you'll find that our founder, Alondo, has many prophecies concerning the coming of the spawn of Baal. There are many who want to use you for their own purposes. One man who calls himself Saravok is the worst danger. He has studied here at Candlekeep and thus knows a great deal about your history and who you are. Gorion. Copy that one. Right, so this was apparently the room, which means, well, it was empty, so. Which means there wasn't really many things left for us here. And it also means that this is the third floor. I thought we were higher up than that, but all right. Nine gold. It's just a habit just of grabbing gold, even though we have like 200,000 gold pieces. You could probably buy the entire city of Candlekeep with that kind of money. Good on you if you save the day. Another shelf or something. It's empty. What's in here? Another book, more history of the north. There's been a lot of those books. Another book. And more shelves. Gold necklace, just grab that one, I guess. And you are carrying potions, right? Right, so let's grab those and put them here. Are you gonna be over the weight limit? No, you're not. Good. <coughs> good, yes. good. Well, we just looks like we're done on this particular floor. Let's head on up further. Let's make a quick save along the way, just in case I have to redo this or Our the power rules goes or something. Are very strict. Get warden. You there, stop and surrender yourself. You are accused of murdering 
The men, Brunos, Koslak, Theron and Therwich and Rilter Anovich, keep yourself up now or you'll be assured of failure trial. Okay. In the previous uh, episode, I actually did kill them. And that was why I sort of avoided this room this time around to get further up. But apparently we are being accused anyway. Which I suspected was going to happen. I didn't expect it was going to happen right here and right now. Because I actually expected to go back down and have to kill the guy. But apparently not. I did not murder anyone, so I'm perfectly willing to go on trial. My innocence of this accusation should be refuted quickly within any fair court of law. Well, I don't want to fight my own people, so I guess I will surrender. I'm glad you'll still have some of sense. Grant taught you, please follow me and everything will be sorted out quickly. Right, now we're in jail. Great fun, right? In the other recording I did, that when the power went, I actually killed Someone the guys, but ended in the same me. sale anyway. So Conrad, have you sullied your father's name by uh, defiling this home and bringing ruin to peace that has lasted for centuries? I spit on you and all your friends. Your transgressions will be punished in the most severe form. I formally accuse you of the murders of Brunos Kostak and Riltar Anchev. But I've done nothing wrong. Why do you accuse me of, of such things? Why I have accused you? You were seen fleeing the murder scene. Covers found the, the identifying ring of shadow thief assassin in your personal effects. A uh, gold minted in arm. I feel that it is strong enough proof to accuse you. That particular ring we were given, you know, grand, right? From everything we've been, s you. We have seen and found it is not hard to figure out what your purpose was. From what I've been told, you have been trying to place all the misfortunes of the Sword Coast squarely on the shoulders of the Iron Throne. I assume you and your friends are assassins in the employ of Amn. Perhaps you were sent up north to create discord in the region before an Amian invasion. It matters little. You and your friends are to be sent to Baldur's Gate, where an appropriate punishment will be administered. Right, sounds exciting. We're still not in control here, so we'll wait for the second guy to enter. And Q guy. Nope. Q person. There you go. Greetings, young one. Greetings, young one. Uh, hello, young one. It actually says on the text. I'm sorry to see thee in such terrible circumstances. I know thee well enough to see that you have been falsely accused. Tomorrow, Ulrant will most likely sentence thee to be sent to Baldur's Gate. There, thou will receive the death penalty for these actions. I know that Gorion would not want to see his only child killed in a scant few weeks after his own death. This is a favor to his memory that I will help you escape. Make thy way through the catacombs beneath the library, but do not disturb them. I have your possessions with me. You must take them and go with haste. Do you know anyone with the name of Kovaraz? I know no one of that name, but Kovaraz is reversed of Saravok, a young man who accompanied the leaders of the Iron Throne when they first came. I know not where he has gone. So, set up, right? Now it's time for you to go, Conrad. I can teleport you to the secret room that leads to the catacombs. But from there you are on your own. You must caref be careful within the catacombs, as there are many guardians and traps, and perhaps whomever planned these murders. However dangerous the catacombs may be, they are, f they are safer alternative than Ulrant's wrath. Teleport us to the secret library, as we are ready, we are as, ready as we, will ever, we will ever be. Alright, and journal update murder. And another journal update, I think there came two last time I was down here. Maybe it was two because I actually did the killing that time around. I can, but try. Right, scrolls. One of them I could learn, if I remember correctly. And I do. 
don't remember which one. I think it was this one actually. Right. Mm, yeah, we are. No, this one here could be learned. Protection, a minor club of invulnerability. That one we get into our spell book. Excellent. Shadow door. I believe that's the one that me ourselves here we need to learn. And that one is copied into our book. And the rest guess we just put back. Like so. Alright. We can't get out this way. We have to go out this way. And now we are in the catacombs. And this was as far as I got I when the power best. went. Actually, I got bit down the corridor here. And we had one person come to meet us round about here. Hello there. And there you are. My book, you stole my book, you're cursed. And that was as far as we got last time around. And now we have actually killed this thing here, so. Yeah. Right, we have to get out of, the, out of these catacombs, but I will do that in the next episode. I will take a break here. Thank you very much for watching.